is it Nana from Ice Climbers or is it Toon Link Boomerang? Absolutely Toon Link Boomerang. <laughs> Absolutely. You don't, have to, you don't have to jump off stage one, to save Boomerang. <laughs> I'm starting round one on PS2. <laughs> we did. Oh, we did with a bomb. Let's do the uh, deep breathing off the bat there, too. Ulong just trying to. No, no, oh. this is going to be a long war. Look at that. Yeah, how is like closing distance, but only so much to like keep the projectile wall going? Oh, well, now it's going to sort of out, though. I love watching Howl play because he knows all of the weird hitbox stuff that uh, Toon Link has. Like, you saw him hit that up air with what seemed to be like a, a super long lingering up air. Right, or like knowing that like Toon Link's forward air wouldn't hit you if you're like slightly above and behind him, if you're just too tall and behind him. Knowing that stuff is, uh, man, it makes, a, it makes a world of difference for certain characters. And Toon Link definitely feels like one of them. How makes this character look so much scarier just by knowing where some of those good hitboxes are? That's been, uh, okay, only the grab off of it instead. Too long trying to find something that maybe. Well, now it's on the. You know, you normally, like we fit too, right? You're comfortable in life. You're yeah. Like, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine being here. I got volleyball. I can, I can hang out here all day. But something about Toon Link just. Uh, doesn't doesn't make you feel as good. Look at that shield. Look at this shield coming out from right at Oolong, just perfectly dealing with all of those projectiles, sticking to the ground, and then finally opening through, deep breathing out again. Dash attack out. I think they were pushed on the dash attack there, but we think trainers comes out a little bit sooner to uh -oh. oh! That was looking. You know, I I don't think Hal got a chance to react to that until it had already missed, but you know that was a miniature heart oh. attack. Red Ulong taking that first stop with the forward tilt. Oh, uh -oh. no! Right oh. him under the stage of the volleyball, like... That is... Oh. That's rough. Why is this... Why is this stage... Why do people like this stage? It just feels, I don't know, maybe I'm the weird one, but it feels like this should be a counter pick. I don't, it, it, call me crazy. When stuff like that happens, I don't know. Pretty long yes. trying to find a way back on the stage there with the, uh, oh, actually, never mind. Now feeling pretty comfortable staying on the ledge there, too. With holding shield for, he's like, holding shield for a long time. He's living 170. Yeah. And this is a character you do have to be careful holding shield against, because Greenling does have some kill throws. At that percentage, I think it hit the volleyball. Probably, but at yeah. that percentage, like uh -huh. I, I don't doubt it. Props to Oolong for being alive to one six or whatever it was. Like that was absolutely pretty nutty. How now, just Oolong is going to camp. Actually, look at this. Oolong no longer has to play the game. Like, and and why would you? Like, why would you try to get in on Toon Link if you don't have to? Like, just. Oolong is going to play as evasive as possible. Maybe find a punish, you know, find a hit here and there, but... He's breathing buff. Oh, oh, okay. I really thought that Oolong was going to commit to the timer there. I, just the way they were moving around, but I, I guess... Uh, I guess when you find an opening and you realize you don't have to commit to the timer, you know, you, you, you save yourself that 2 minutes and 30 seconds or so if you can. Hmm. Well, because he's like, well, come to me. Uh, Red Oolong gets to sit there. He gets to uh, get deep breathing, get that buff. And then he gets to kill you at, with a forward tilt randomly. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yo, you know, maybe that was the plan. Maybe Oolong was running to, like, wait out the timer on the, the slower deep breathing. and just, I don't know the character well enough to say, but that could have been it. Yeah, people don't realize, like, people kind of, like... People kind of hate on characters that like camp and play for timer in certain matchups, and like I get it, it's not always an exciting thing to watch, but you do have to respect like the mental fortitude to be able to do it, because you got to keep that going for a long time. And if you mess up and you lose your lead, now you've lost all this extra credit you could have gotten by playing, you know, normally instead. So now your opponent's much closer to you, percentage stock wise. Um, and you've only got a certain amount of time to actually stay ahead in the matchup. Oh! Oh, a bomb to up air from Hal. Just really playing this wall well. The juggle situation here is really giving Red Oolong problems. Uh, it has been just tricky getting. Oh, I need to. I forgot. Production had to step out. So I need to update that. 
Ultimate Force Smash. Not gonna kill monitor. just yet. Oh! Down airs him off the stage. See, I was I was worried after game one uh, when Hal had that SD. Oh, bonk, boom ring in the ball. But after that SD, you know, that's especially game one, and after losing down two stocks, that's gonna hurt mentally, you know. So going into game two, it looks like Hal kind of shook it off. He said, I can win this. And now he's playing it pretty well. Yeah, the stage definitely helping quite a bit as well, just because having long period of time where you got this nice long flat stretch it seems to be helping Hal out. Uh, just Wulong really waiting for these platforms to come back, was really playing that ledge for a while and just did not want to really play the game too much until they were back. Bomb gonna stop the combo there. This character has so many like little things that would fail you out of a combo. Oh. Stuck him on the platform now. Yeah, Oolong is just perfectly okay with camping for like a, a, a solid set of this. Like, I'm guessing part of it is for the deep breathing, just buying time for that. Um, I mean, you, you could be starting to play for time timer at this point. And he, he's like, oh, listen, I know he knows that everything Toon Link gets, it's going to be off a of bomb, it's going to be off a of boomerang. So if he just sits there, plays patiently, he knows Toon Link can't get much off. Yeah, and you know Hal is not going to try to commit, uh, at least not very often, just because there's so much to lose for Hal if you do commit into that Wii Fit, especially if you're breathing up. Um, and there's also, you know, just the frame data from Wii Fit is a little bit better up close if you put it on the sword, so Hal doesn't want to press in and do anything too aggressive without knowing they've got a solid hit. Oh, up there, killed! Yep. Ow. Found a solid grab there with all those projectiles in the air. Now Hal is just He's grasping for anything he can. Oh, bomb to the forward air. One good opening. He's gonna blow that ball away. Right up over the uh, sun salutations there. Now, oh, Ooh. I like that pressure with ball ball. I like that little mix up there. Uh oh. The off stage situation is looking a little rough. Back, Back row, not gonna kill. Not gonna kill, but how looking for something out here to finish the stock off. Ooh, That'll do it. Go, yep. Really good thinking there, because you you got to take every opportunity, every opening you can get there, and just fading back under to use your up recovery to also finish stock off. Like those, knowing those little tricks, those little you know opportunities, is absolutely crucial to this level of play. Because right along is not gonna let anything else. You know, it's not going to give up anything else when they got stocked up. So lose it stock. So lose the sun. Red Wulong is still in control. So just sit here. Yeah, and it's unclear if, if he is playing for timer or if he's just if he's just kind of sitting back because it's working for him so far. And honestly, one more upper like that, that's probably going to be how it's stock. Yeah, how's like 153 stuck on the ledge. Full stage this is too and has to deal with that. But the bombs are just soaking projectiles yes. up. Buying time in, recognize that the volleyball is going to double tap his shield too and have a second shield ready. And how, yeah. With two in length, the problem is at that full length, oh, and there it is, yep. His own bomb in the up air. But yeah, with two in length, the thing is, you know, you have those slow projectiles, the floaty arrow, the slow bomb, uh, slow boomerang, and that's good for keeping them oh, on the sorry. stage. But the problem is, you know, at, at full stage distance, 